place is ancient. It seems no one has entered this place in centuries. Hang on! Don't come any closer! Cave it! Look out! I think our friend is going to be all right. Get out of my head! Resist him, newcomer! You must wake up! Now! So me being the idiot I am. I forgot to let my audio sharing go through so this first half of me is by myself I would say the first 30 minutes give or take and the last part is me running around with some buddies of mine but I forgot to record our audio so sorry that's all I can say because yeah the, the first half should be me talking like it, the me but the, the rest of it is just dead silent so apologize no audio hope you guys enjoy My friend, Raz is happy to see you, but surprised you didn't help me with these creatures. Not that Raz needed any help. You must tell me what brought you to Somerset after you agreed to assist Raz with his usual cloak and dagger business. Ominous. No more than usual, my friend. But there's work for the Queen's Eye, and this one could use an extra blade if you're willing. Queen Irene issued a decree to open the borders of Somerset and allow outsiders to have access to the island. That's what Raz said, but rumors reached the Queen. So this one made the journey and was immediately attacked by strange creatures. Raz doesn't think the two are related, but if you could ask some questions, Check on the newcomers. That would help. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimmerin when you have something to report. Raz never saw such monsters in his life. They appear related to water, but this one tends to avoid this stuff. That pearl, though, Raz swears it was calling those creatures. 
A mystery for another time, perhaps. Now, we need to see to the newcomers. As a matter of fact, Raz made a list. All knew well a high elf artisan spoke out. See what she complained about. Then there's Soxolza, a persecuted Argonian newcomer. Finally, Ranuo, a city resident noted in the Divine Prosecution's observation book. All Newell complained about it. No, no. Roz doesn't want to prejudice your investigation. You will find out when you talk to her. The artists like to gather shells along the eastern coast. She uses them to make paints and dyes. True. Not enough syllables. Ranul's a red guard, whose family has lived in Shimarin for generations. He's a well-respected trader, with a few warehouses along the docks. Talk to him, before the Divine Prosecution decides to arrest him. The Divine Prosecution serves as lawkeepers and protectors of social standards. Very persnickety. When rules are broken, they record it in their observation logs. If your name winds up on their list, things get complicated. Something to do with monks and newcomer registration. Roz is looking into that. Last I heard, Soxolza was seen leaving the city and heading west. Probably trying to reach the water. Lizards like water, yes? Not Roz. Gugh. Roz hates the wet stuff. Nothing at all. Unless you think they came to Somerset because of the Queen's decree. No, that would be ridiculous. Let's not lose focus. Just see what Old Newell, Soxolza, and Ranul have to say about newcomers and the mood in Shimarin. We need to confirm these rumors or else put an end to them. Everyone should be pleased with the Queen's decree. Opening the border shows progress, yes? However, if any of her loyal subjects reject progress, well, Raz needs to know that, too. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimarin when you have something to report. your own patch of beach. Not that you'd understand the concept, but the path to Alaxon requires dedication and complete concentration. I must find the perfect shells or my pigments will be substandard. And do you know what that will do to my art? Exactly. An ultimate concept practiced widely here in Somerset. Alexon is the state of perfection that every High Elf strives for. The path to Alexon represents the approach we take to achieve that state. Now, why have you interrupted my work? I believe in caution as much as the next High Elf, but sometimes the rules get in the way of common sense. My apprentice lived here for more than a year. Good help is so hard to find, especially among the newcomers. And she was adept at making dyes. They took her away. Said they had to scrutinize her qualifications, test her knowledge of culture and etiquette. But I haven't seen her since. My work suffers, so of course I complained to the monks. Now I have to gather my own shells. 
They told me I could fill out some forms and appeal to the kin lady. But who has time for such bureaucracy? And for a wood elf? I've said too much. I have work to do, and all this aggravation has diverted my path to Alaxon. Perfection requires constant vigilance, so back to it. House district. Unusual. But how can I help you today, my friend? The Divine? Who told you that? If a Justicier sent you to try and trick me into confessing... No, no. The High Elves would never send a newcomer to perform such a task. But I admit it. I made my thoughts known. I arranged to bring my cousin here to work with me. The ship arrived, but all the newcomers were carted away. For questioning, they said. I complained to the kin lady and anyone else who would listen. And what has it gotten me? Nothing! Oh, my family has been here for generations and generations. Before the Queen's decree, outsiders might have been rare, but we were not unheard of. Our business has grown and gets better every day. That's why I sent for my cousin. We need the help. Somerset is a rare and beautiful jewel in the Abetian Sea. I love it here. The High Elves treat us like children, but they have never been hostile. The Queen's decree has stirred the waters, though. I fear it will get worse before it gets better. Why have you closed the monastery? Good people, I hear your concerns. But the workers I hired, they were aboard the ship from Rivenspire. The kin lady and I, we have only your best interests in mind. Every guest must be sequestered while we ascertain their suitability for Ultima society. The old dark's right! Lock up the newcomers! Send the newcomers back where they came from! Such anger! Raz never expected to hear such words from the Queen's loyal subjects. The sentiment isn't universal, but enough feel this way for Raz to be concerned. Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? Sequestered, hmm. Just a different word for imprisoned, yes. Ranul's cousin just arrived, but Old Newell's assistant has lived on Somerset since long before the Queen ever issued her decree. What about the lizard? What did Sok Solza have to say? <sighs> 
Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-High Elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the King Lady condone this behavior? Raz's head itches, and not in a good way. Our course is clear, Five Claw. We must go to the monastery. Raz admires your enthusiasm, but this one needs you to enter the monastery on your own. Raz has other fish to catch. This one will help you get past the sentry, though. When you notice that the sentry is distracted, just sleep quietly inside. No, not now, please. Your spiritual well-being can wait until after my nap. You'll have to ask one of the monks that the new Aldark brought with him. They deal with all the newcomer testing and evaluations. I'm just a simple monk trying to catch up on my sleep. That was a hint, by the way. Aldark Tilkala arrived right after the Queen issued her decree. He came highly recommended by King Lady Avanis, or so I heard. It's not unusual for monks to form attachments and move together. But there's something strange about that bunch. The old orc and his monks keep to themselves. They've taken the Undercroft for their own purposes and ordered the rest of us to avoid the ancient vaults beneath the monastery. Now, please, let me get back to my nap. Again with the questions about the newcomers. Why do you care about the complexities of Altma bureaucracy? Still, if I had to make a guess, I'd say they were taking into the Undercroft for registration and processing. Now go away. Aldark Tilkala arrived right after the Queen issued her decree. He came highly recommended by King Lady Avanis, or so I heard. It's not unusual for monks to form attachments and move together, but there's something strange about that bunch. The old orc and his monks keep to themselves. They've taken the Undercroft for their own purposes and ordered the rest of us to avoid the ancient vaults beneath the monastery. Now, please. Let me get back to my nap. The monastery should be a place of peace and meditation. The Aldoc has closed us down until further notice. That means if any of the monks spot you, they'll raise the alarm. Me? I never saw you. Now, if you don't mind, 
My nap awaits. Unusual knickknack for an all docks office, wouldn't you agree? I noticed you skulking around while I was engaged in some skulking of my own. I suppose we both came to the monastery with a similar purpose in mind. The sequestered newcomers. I came to find out what happened to a friend. I assume that's what brought you here as well? A house of worship shouldn't be used as an internment camp, and it shouldn't be locked to the public either. Interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. I find it intriguing and a bit disturbing. But we aren't here to discuss curios, strange creatures notwithstanding. We need to find out what's happening with the missing newcomers. The sentry doesn't appear to have stopped you, so I could ask you the same question. Let's just agree that we both have our methods. Curious, but I feel that there's more going on in Shimmerin than the usual politics and community relations. That's the question, my cautious friend. We have a newly appointed Aldark and a disgruntled kin lady, both opposed to the Queen's decree. What's their connection to the missing newcomers? I was about to explore the Undercroft. Care to join me? A curious pearl. I wonder where the Aldark acquired it. Probably not important. I'll meet you in the Undercroft, and we can see what's going on with the newcomers. Something's wrong down here. I sense magic. Vile magic. Cages? These people did nothing to deserve such treatment. Thank the divines! You aren't one of the monks. Please, let me out of here. It's a nightmare. We came to Somerset to seek new opportunities. We barely stepped off the ship when they marched us to the monastery. Instead of questioning us or the usual high elf bureaucracy, they locked us in these cages. The monks gathered them a few moments ago and took them through the door on the far side of the chamber. Please, let me out of here before they take me away like the others. Daedra? Here? And that's a scoffin, if I remember my Daedric recitations correctly. Very curious. An excellent question, and one I hope to find the answer to. From the evidence before us, it appears this Nord killed the scoffin before he succumbed to his own wounds. Good for him. I found this key on the creature's belt, so we can open that door. Then I suggest we pick up the pace. We need to determine what's actually happening down here, and who's behind all this. Without answers to those questions, we won't be able to decide on our best course of action. I'll explain everything later. For now, we need to hurry.
stay soul alive with love and joy. Yes? And who might you be? The kin lady is currently engaged. She's holding a conference with Shimmerin's elite to discuss certain political matters. Hmm. Yes. So you do. And may I say that your outfit is suitably elegant. Uh, please, head into the garden. Regarding the Queen's decree, I assure you that I am working with all Dark Takala to safeguard the sanctity of Shimmerleen and all of Somerset. Enjoy the food and drink. Business of the city requires my attention, but I shall rejoin you shortly. How Bold of you, the Nebarad. You heard that somewhere, did you? <laughs> I'll have to have a discussion with the Divine Prosecution about how lax our security has become. No, no, I jest. The Kin Lady and I have nothing but the best interests of Somerset and the newcomers in mind. You really are well informed about things here in Shimmerin, aren't you? For a Nebarad. You're right, where are my manners? Using a word you couldn't possibly be expected to understand. It means unwelcome. As in, you are not welcome here. That's a serious accusation to toss around so casually. What did you say your name was again? I want to make sure to add it to the Divine Prosecution's observation log. For your own protection, you understand. I suddenly remembered some business I need to deal with as well. Feel free to pester the other guests in my absence. you barge into my home without so much as a by your leave. No, I refuse to deal with one of the Queen's guests, especially not in my own home. How did you get in here, by the way? No, never mind that. Since you found your way in, I assume you can find your way back out, before I call the guards. <laughs> Such innocence. You really want to know why I oppose the Queen's order to allow newcomers to enter Somerset? Because I'm trying to protect both the island and the newcomers. It's in everyone's best interest that we maintain a separation. Aldark Tilkala came highly recommended. He has grand plans for protecting Shimmerin. Grand plans. Unfortunately, in my haste to deal with the Queen's decree, I may have made an error in judgment. Not that it's any concern of yours, but my Chancellor has been unable to verify the Aldark's existence prior to when we met, and I recommended him for the position at the Monastery. I assure you, 
Kinlord Millenthal prays Tilkala to no end. That's preposterous. Aldak Tilkala sequesters the newcomers to ascertain their suitability for life in Somerset. Those who pass will find a place here. As for the rest, they'll be returned to wherever they came from. That's what we agreed to. My lady, one of the monks had to deliver this message. It's from the old Ark himself. The Coral Forest. An odd location for a meeting, but I need to hear the old Ark's explanation. Pretend you are adjusting your boot, or admiring the architecture. As hard as it may be, look anywhere but directly at Raz. Good, good. Now, tell Raz what you learned at the King Lady's Manor. Hmm. Raz thinks Avanis is as naive as she is complicit, but she is not a murderer. This new old arc, though, has so much blood on his hands, it looks like he's wearing red gloves. From what... The Coral Forest? Hmm. A strange meeting place. Raz thinks we should go and see what the old Ark is up to. After I take back that outfit, I might need it again later. Ah, you have a pretty admirer, my friend. The Sijic Sage, yes? Here she comes now. I'm glad I found you. While watching the King Lady's mansion, I saw her ladyship sneak out the back and leave the city. The King Lady is meeting the Old Dark in the Coral Forest. Raz smells something, and it isn't moon sugar biscuits. Your reputation precedes you, Eye of the Queen. I am Valserin of the Sijic Order, and I agree that the Old Dark is more than a simple monk. We should work together, yes, but let's travel separately to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Raz will find you both at the Coral Forest. One of Somerset's more unique environments, the Coral Forest. I used to love coming here when I was growing up. We need to find out why the Aldark asked King Lady Avenis to meet him out here. Based on what we saw in the monastery's undercroft, I'm hesitant to use magic to locate them. I suppose we'll have to find them through mundane means. Too bad the Queen's spy isn't here yet. Show you the power bestowed upon me by the Prince of Bargains. Gagra, destroy these fools! Asimdar apprehended the Kin Lady. They're at the west edge of the Coral Forest. What happened to Aldark Tilkalar? Did he escape? 
I think we can conclude that Tilkalar wasn't actually an Uldark. At least, not with his connection to the Prince of Bargain's Clavicus Vile. Strange magic and creatures worry me, however. Hopefully, the pearl I sent to Arteum can tell us more. You'd be surprised what a particular object can reveal if you know how to unlock its secrets. I need to return and tell Rightmaster Aikesis all that transpired here. If you're willing, I'd like you to come to Arteum and confirm my story. The Right Master leads the Sigic Order from Kapora Tower on the island of Arteum. This spell attunes you to a portal near Shimmerine in the ruins of the Keep of Eleven Forces. It always leads to Arteum, no matter the island's current location. One more adjustment and there, you are now attuned. Find me on Arteum after you finish with the Eye of the Queen. Ah, five cl Queen Irene will be disappointed that the King Lady of Shimmerin allowed a false Aldar to murder so many newcomers. Such a scandal makes other travelers uneasy about coming here, yes? The Prince of Bargains? That could only be Clavicus Vile. What oblivion-inspired nest of vipers has Raz stumbled into? This one has a very bad feeling about all of this. Where is the Sijic Sage? Raz would like to ask her what she thinks. The Sijic Order's interest in all of this concerns Raz Umdar. This one has never had much love of magic or those that practice the art. On the other hand, now Raz has his own person on the inside. An Eye of Raz, if you will, yes? Then you must go to Arteum and discover what the Sijiks have learned. When you return, you can tell Raz all about it so he can pass it along to the Queen. Yes. Have you come to gloat? To kick me while I wallow in my own misery? Well, go ahead. I deserve it. I met him at Kinlord Millenthal's party in Eleanor. We had similar ideas about the Queen's decree, and I recommended that he lead the monastery. Somerset isn't a stew pot, and the various races aren't ingredients to be sprinkled in like so much spice. What a hateful accusation! Tilkala told me he was going to send them back where they came from. I had no idea he planned to kill them. I give you my word, I just wanted the newcomers to go away. And to find out he worshipped Daedra? How crude. I certainly hope not. We'll have to get the Divine Prosecution in there to gather up the monks Tilkala brought with him to Shimmerine. We can't have Daedric cultists desecrating a holy site. I suppose I need to beg for mercy from the Proxy Queen.
sign of Leith. I don't know whether to be grateful or concerned. What a rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldark's plot on Somerset. Unfortunate, certainly. The magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sotha Seal warned us about. Sotha Seal, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Arteum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Indeed. But not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately. Unless you want to explore our island first. The next step involves a thorough examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. Hopefully, we can learn more about the false Aldark and the source of the pearl's magic. We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. The trick involves selecting the correct ritual to reveal those buried memories. While I hit... must be the adventurer that Valserin was going on about. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our secret island. Oh, I suppose you already talked to the right master, seeing as you're here in Kapora Tower. That strange pearl has certainly been reluctant to reveal its secrets. The right master hates it when an inanimate object refuses to cooperate. Regarding the amplification elixir, I just cataloged it. It's a Sotha Seal creation, as you'd expect. Hmm. What? No, not in the traditional sense. He's not one of our monks, if that's what you're asking. More like an honorary member, I guess you'd say. According to my records, the Silver Vial should be right over there. As soon as the Pearl arrived via Valserin's transference spell, the Rite Master gathered the Conclave to prepare an augury ritual. He's been cycling sages through to keep them fresh, while slowly increasing the intensity of the ritual. I'm the Rite Master's acolyte. I have other duties to perform. Besides, such a complex ritual requires the power of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces. I'm not that strong yet. Under the Rite Master's tutelage, I expect to attain that rank. One day. Despite opinions to the contrary, being an Altmer isn't a prerequisite for membership in the Sigic Order. The Rite Master noticed my potential and invited me to join. I had a year to consider the offer, but I made my decision immediately. I'm not allowed to reveal where you are or how our magic works, other than to tell you that you have arrived upon the fabled island of the Sigic Order, Arteum. While we're not currently part of Nern's reality, we still keep track of events there. I could say we have our ways and leave it at that, but you deserve a better explanation. The Right Master sends Sigics back to the world to perform tasks and gather information. Plus, we have powerful scrying magic that reveals all sorts of details.
Was Oriandra able to direct you to the proper elixir? Without something to amplify the magic, our ritual is going to fail. Just in time. For the next stage of the ritual, if you have no objections, I'd like you to join us. Your experiences alongside Valserin might help reveal what has so far eluded our efforts. We'll handle the magic. You pour the elixir into the scrying pool and stand close. As the ritual's power amplifies, your experiences with the Pearl and the False Aldark should help the augury do its job. We want to discover the origin of the Pearl and its strange magic. In addition, anything we can learn about the False Aldark and his connection to the Pearl would be helpful. Otherwise, we're stepping blindly into Oblivion's maw here. Pour the elixir into the pool. That should provide the final boost we need to trigger the augury. Here we stand, the most favored servants of Clavicus Vile, Mephala, and Nocturnal, on the verge of the greatest victory for our princes. Are you sure those creatures can be trusted? Have no fear. Isn't that why we formed the Court of Bedlam? Besides, what happens next in Relinthil will seal Somerset's fate. That was unnerving. It seems the false Aldark belonged to an alliance of Daedric cultists called the Court of Bedlam. Imagine. The faithful of Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal working together. This is more serious than I anticipated. No, but I'm hardly an expert on the Daedric cults of Tamriel. The magic I sensed in the Pearl, though, it doesn't contain the taint of oblivion. We're missing something, but what? I suppose we'll need to find out what's going on in Relenthiel. I hoped you'd say that. Relenthiel sits to the west of Shimmerine, just across the mountains. I'll send Valserin with you to talk to the Cannon Reeve. The False Aldark may be dead, but Mafala's and Nocturnal's agents remain, as well as the Pearls. I may not be a natural prognosticator, but I had a feeling you might. Go ahead. I'll answer what I can.
Ah, this one has been looking for you. Raz's investigations have brought him to Relentil. When this one noticed your Sigic friend slip into town, Raz figured you'd be along soon. So, what did you discover on Arteum, the island that isn't here anymore? Ugh, oh, that made Raz's head hurt. Yes, this one has been exploring the Daedra connection as well. But Raz hates Daedra. In Raz's experience, very little good comes from dealing with Daedra or their cultists. And this revelation brings you to Relandil, yes? That is disturbingly vague. Why must cryptic cultists be so... cryptic? Well, Raz saw Valserin head toward Canon Reef Farmeldo's house. This one suggests we start our investigation of the area there. 